Good morning, dear aspirant. To start with today's news, a right to shelter. This comes under GS2 government policies. See, Supreme Court called for a balance between developing railway infrastructure in a place called Haldwani and a fundamental rights to shelter for people. See, there is always the debate that between uh, development and the livelihood. When in the name of development, the government is keep on extending the infrastructure by roadways, railways and constructing them. But ultimately, it lies with the sake of the poor people. There are so much of inhabitants who are actually uh, uh, actually uh, migr- becoming a migrant from that particular place to the other place. So similarly, now developing railway structure in Haldwani, uh, that also... Uh, become a important issue so the court says that the there is a uh, there is a the encroachments on public land issues the court what is right to shelter it is actually a fundamental right under article 21 see article 21 is a right to life which is a uh, which is a very umbrella term right to life also includes right to uh, shelter right to life right to life means that basically it includes shelter everything so the right this right ensures that every citizen has access to adequate housing which is considered essential for living a life with dignity so it implies not just a roof over one's head but also includes adequate privacy space security lighting ventilation basic infrastructure forced evictions without proper rehabilitation and due process violates the right to shelter see government initiatives to provide shelter to people pratan mantri awas yojana it is a credit linked subsidy scheme by the government of india to facilitate access to affordable housing for the low and moderate income residents of country National Urban Housing Fund, which provides a financial assistance to states and union territories for the implementation of housing schemes. So, National Rural Livelihood Mission, again re- to reduce the poverty. Dinadayala Antiyodaya Yojana, that also provides shelter for the urban homeless. Mm, and uh, Slum Rehabilitation Authority Scheme, that is also, particularly it is become, it is very much... Um, uh, active in a Maharashtra that focus on rehabilitating slum dwellers. Then Mercoso. So this comes under GS2 international organization. Recently Bolivia country become the full time member of a grouping called Mercosur. Mercosur is a group of countries. The main objective is to in- enhance the trade with those uh, grouping countries. So, Mercosur is actually it is a Spanish name that is a southern common market and it is not only for economy also a political grouping and that grouping belongs to Latin America. So, the members is Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay and Uruguay. Bolivia and Venezuela joined it later. So, it has been it was created in 1991 by the treaty called Treaty of Asuncion that is The basic objective of this grouping is freedom of movement of goods, service and factors of production. The aim of Mercosur is to provide economic integration, free trade, movement of goods and service and people. The block has a highest decision making called governance body and its language works on Spanish and Portuguese. What is the relevance of India? See, for prelims or mains, whatever it is, any international organization or international grouping comes into the news, you must definitely uh, read that what is the relevance to India. So, India also signed the PTA. One, PTA is one of the trade agreement. So, that New Delhi will, be, will be forge closer economic ties with this grouping. So, the headquarter of this grouping is located in Uruguay. Next, Kargil Vijay Divas. So, this comes under uh, uh, GS2, Indian Secu- GS2 so- Society. So, PM is said to visit Kargil on its 25th anniversary. So, Kargil Vijay Divas or Kargil Divas is celebrated annually on July 26 to commemorate India's victory 
over Pakistan in the Kargil War. The day celebrates the courage and sacrifice of Indian soldiers. The year 2024 marks the 25th anniversary of Kargil Vijay Divas. It was fought between India and Pakistan between May and July. It is an effort to ease these tensions. India and Pakistan signed the Lahore Declaration in February 1999, which aimed for the peaceful resolution to the Kashmir issue. However, during the winter of 1998 to 99, the Pakistani forces secretly infiltrated the Dras and Batalik sectors of Kargil in the Ladakh region. The objective was to capture position that would allow them to monitor and control mo- movements in NH1A highway. So Operation Vijay, you must remember, where the Indian army recaptured the famous hill called Tiger Hill. And in the Tiger Hill, there was a settlement of Pakistani troops. So after this Kargil war, from this Tiger Hill, the army evicted those Pakistan troops. Thank you. Have a great day.